Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Indeed, we lift up our voices and lift up our hearts in prayer as we celebrate this sixth Sunday of Easter. In a special way on this Sunday, we'd like to congratulate all mothers as well as pray for them. And in a special way as well, we pray for all those dear to us especially during this Mass, Rosalinda and Geronimo. We also pray for Lucy and all those departed, that the Lord may grant them eternal rest. As we call to mind our sins, that we may worthily offer these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May the mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. saying, Get up, I myself am also a human being. Then Peter proceeded to speak and said, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. 
While Peter was still speaking these things, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to the word. The circumcised believers who had accompanied Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit should have been poured out on the Gentiles also, for they could hear them speaking in tongues and glorifying of God. Then Peter proceeded, responded, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit even as we have? He ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only Son into the world so that we may have life through him. In this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as expiration for our sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Father will 
according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy uh, may be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No, great, no one has greater love than this than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what the man, his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything that I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This is my command to you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. I love you too. Jesus gave us the command to love him as he has loved us. Jesus was able to raise his disciples from the level of being slaves to being friends. Love comes about after a commitment to truth and a commitment to sincerity and a commitment to sacrifice. And that is the true love. The true love that has been tested through all those areas is the kind of love that Jesus is talking about. The love that he received from his Father. As the Father loves me, so I love you. And it's the same love in which he wants us to remain. We are very often so much written about love, so much has been sung about love. What is the kind of love that Jesus is talking about. The love that Jesus is talking about, the love that goes to the extent of laying down one's life for those that he loves. What is this thing called love? Love can be explained in so many ways. Today in the Gospel reading and the second reading, we hear the word love mentioned in each of these readings eight times. Eight times. So which means that this, love is, this word love is mentioned 16 times in today's readings. Love. As the Father loves me, so I love you. Remain in my love. You will remain in my love. Yes, I've kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. This is my command. Love one another as I've loved. I love you. So Jesus showed how to love 
that we may learn how to love. But it is so many times and very often that the love of others can be taken for granted, that the love can be abused, the love can be ignored. God's love for us is seen in the ways of how God provides us with the basics of our lives. The air that we breathe, the water, this beautiful planet Earth, the gift of those around us, the people that have nurtured us. All those remind us God is immense love for us. And I believe we all understand how difficult it is to love everyone. How difficult it is to really love even those who don't love us, those who have caused us harm, those who have caused us pain. It is difficult to love them because there is, there is a reason. How about those people that we love but they don't love us back? Jesus is giving us a commandment. It is not an option. It is a must that we must love even those who don't love us. We must love even those who don't deserve our love simply because he loved us. He has shown us how. For so God loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And he who he gave us has said, as the Father loves me, so I love you, equally and the same way. And that is the love in which he wants us to remain. God's love has been planted in our lives. God's love is within us because we are God's images. But it is up to us every day to improve on that love. It is upon us every day to grow that love, to nurture it, to develop it. And the circumstances around us call on us to love and to put love where love is not. It's a commitment not only to ourselves, but it's a commitment to God. We love because he loved us first. Jesus has upgraded his, his, his disciples from being slaves and all those who take this command to being his friends. Even when he's the master, he has helped us rise to the level that he is, and it is such an honor, an honor that we must keep, an honor that we must always treasure. That is why he says, remain in my love. It is not part time, it ought to be all the time, the love that lasts. Our love as human beings sometimes can expire. It can have a duration, but the love of God and the love of Jesus in us doesn't wish it expires. He wants it to be forever. He wants it to be permanent. He wants that love that can be in season, out of season, and the love that can always bear fruit. The Holy Spirit inspired the disciples inspired the apostles to know what it meant to love. And they were in, when they were inspired, they went out to reach out. They were able to speak the truth, to speak on behalf of God, to speak the words of God.
because the Holy Spirit was with them. The Holy Spirit was upon them. And their love, their, the words of truth inspired so many and attracted so many to be baptized. And when they were baptized, they became new. This time of the year brings about new things. When we see the new life around us, the season of spring, the fruits of love. And in order to experience this love, we've had to endure through the months of the cold weather. But now that we see the fruits of our perseverance, it was worth making that sacrifice. New children that have been born, new lives, and the life of the risen Lord in each one of us. We should always look out into ourselves to see what is new. Not necessarily the things, but what is new within us that God has blessed us with another new month, the month of May. And it is a sign of his love for us. We've been blessed with new strength. We've been blessed with new ways on how we can live. And the joy of being in his love. St. John, the first reading, has said, Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. We as Christians, Catholics, never get tired of speaking about the love of God, because we know what it means for us. God loved us even when we didn't deserve it. Jesus loves us even when we don't deserve that love. But it should never end there. It's a challenge as well for us also to extend it. We can only give what we've received. He wants us to receive that love. And as soon as we've received it, then we can be able to share it with others. On this weekend, when we celebrate Mother's Day, there's no one who loves like a mother loves their children. The mother loves and loves and loves. The love they cannot take away they love their children even when the children are, have messed up. They know it is their children. They love their children in every way and as much as they can. The mother's love can be described into two words. It is tough. At the same time, it is tender. Many successful people in character, in virtue, and in their nature, we always remember to talk about who raised them to be the persons that they are. It is their mothers, more so. The, mother, the mothers who first experience that new life in them, and that new life that does not end, the first teachers of their children, in the things of the world and also in the things of faith, in the matters of faith. We all draw life, I must say, we all draw love. We all draw blood from our parents, from our mothers. That is the true love. That is the love that we have and we ought to have for our mothers as we pray for them on this day. There's no doubt each of us has something to remember about their mothers when they were young. The times mom would call you 
And you knew it wasn't good news. You knew you are going to pay for what you did. Even when you cried, she knew she was doing the right thing. She knew she was giving a dose that you must receive. And she never stopped. And even when she saw you crying, again she would run to you and say, okay, stop crying. Even when you would run away because she smacked you so hard, but eventually turn around and come back because there was no other place to go. Our love for God sometimes can be tested. When we seem to ask from God all that we need and we don't seem to get it. Maybe even run far away from God. But we have to remember that God loves us and at his timing he can always give us what we pray for at an appointed time at the right time he knows what we need can we take this to ourselves as a challenge that we take these words of Jesus that this is my command and this I command you love one another Amen Shall we now rise and profess our faith? I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate with the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified and upon to Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the Scriptures, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, who will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son and the daughter glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in the Holy Catholic Church. I have sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear Father, we now come before you with these our prayers and our needs. We pray for Pope Francis, along with our bishops and pastors, that they will never shrink from their responsibility to bring the love of God to the ends of the earth. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those entrusted with civil authority, that they will govern with right judgment and always work to bring an end to injustice, discrimination, and poverty. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all families, that they will be strengthened in the bond of love and kindness. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the newly baptized, those recently received into the church, and our young people just confirmed in the Holy Spirit. Along with this, uh, that the just recently, and just those who recently came to the table of the Lord for the first time, that they will accept the Spirit's guidance as they face life's challenges. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For mothers, stepmothers, grandmothers, godmothers, all women who nurture and care for us, that they are truly treasured and blessed this special day, along with those expected mothers. We ask for encouragement and support as they approach their new responsibilities. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the sick, those in our parish, those in our family, 
and in our parish, uh, Book of Intercessions, that they will know the presence of the Holy Spirit during their illness. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they will be joyfully welcomed into the everlasting light of heaven, especially those that we remember today. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Or our departed mothers, especially Rosalinda and Lucy, we offer this much for that the Lord may grant them eternal rest. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Holy family, we consecrate ourselves and our family to you. May we be completely united in the love that is lasting, faithful and open to the gift of new life. Help us to grow in virtues, forgive one another from our hearts and to live in peace all our days. Keep us strong in faith, persevering in prayer, diligent in our work and generous toward those in need. May our home, O Holy Family, truly become a domestic church where we reflect your example in our daily life. Amen. Amen. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, pray, pray for, for us. us.
our spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of
the Lamb of God and behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Shall we at this moment take a prayer for spiritual communion? My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I will love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am at labor at this moment to receive you sacramentally, come and listen spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself only to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour out into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. To love a special blessing for all the mothers, uh, but before that, I'd like to thank you for joining us in the celebration of the Eucharist uh, from here at the Catholic Church of St. Mark in Virginia Beach, uh, live streaming at 10. I would like to thank in a very special way the team with whom we've been uh, reaching out to you here from St. Mark, the staff in a special way. Everyone have playing a, a role in some way or another. If you can remember, uh, we began on the 8th, March 15th. March 15th, it was during Lent, and the following week when we are figuring out how we could live stream Mass. And there's no Sunday since that we have missed. We thank God, it's by the grace of God. I'd like to thank you for those who've been committed to this, even from out of town and from wherever you are. So beginning next Sunday, our Mass will move to 10.30 Eastern, 10.30, which will also be live streamed. But of course in a different way, not right from where we are right now. We hope you continue to keep us in your prayers, continue to support our church, and we thank you for your generosity because it is what has kept us going through. In a special way, I'd like to thank our music and uh, liturgy department that has been helping us to make sure we have a wonderful Sunday experience with our musicians and our music coordinator, Mark Sinland. Thank you so very much and your team and all your efforts. We thank you very much, we appreciate that. And of course, our Minister of the Youth Faith for helping us out in that technical area together with the team of uh, Religious Formation Director and the Coordinator, Samantha. Thank you very much, uh, Deacons John and Deacon Mike and all those that have been fully involved into this. We thank you very much. And uh, today being Mother's Day, uh, the Knights of Columbus here at the church, I wish to give out uh, some flowers for the parents, to the mothers in appreciation. So if you can make it from uh, half past noon to one o'clock here at the Church of St. Mark, Catholic Church of St. Mark, we'll appreciate to see you and get to see you as well as uh, celebrate with you Mother's Day. We hope you have such a beautiful Sunday, a blessed week, and remember to stay safe and healthy. We pray for the mothers and ask God to continue to bless them. Loving God, as mothers give life and nourishment to their children, so you watch over your church. We ask you to bless the mothers out there, mothers so dear to us, that they may be strengthened as Christian mothers their lives of faith and love may continue to shine in this world to their children and grant that their children may always honor them in the spirit of profound and unfailing respect. May you continue to give them the joy that comes through their closeness with you and their service for you, O oh God. We may this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the mighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come down upon you, remain with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended as go in the peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Have a nice weekend, everyone. Happy Mother's Day. Mama Mary loves you. Thank you.